Okay, so streamline equations. Uh, we'll do one more example. This one's kind of a fun one. Our velocity v is given by negative 2yi plus xj. Okay? And notice that it's a steady flow because there's no time variable t. It doesn't depend on time. And they're asking, we want to prove that this velocity field is in the shape of a circle or an ellipse. So just think of, a, think of flushing the toilet and watching the water, water kind of go like this. That's what we want to try to prove that this velocity field or its streamline equations are. So of course the very first thing we want to do is write down our x, y, and z components of this velocity field. So our x component of this velocity field is just negative 2y. Our y component is just x and our z component is actually 0. It's a two-dimensional flow. Okay. So let's set up our streamline equations. Uh, d lambda, this is the formula, dx over vx, and that's equal to um, dy over vy, and that's equal to dz over vz. Here, it's just zero because we don't, we don't, it's not really zero, it's just we don't have this term in our equation because it's a two-dimensional flow. So I shouldn't say it's zero, but it's just not there. So, the very first thing we want to do is we want to, well, we, we, we have our equation, so let's plug in our components into this equation. So we'll get dx over vx, which is negative 2y, and that's equal to dy over vy, and our vy here is, is just x, right? So, the very, I'm, what I want to do is I want to multiply everything by uh, 2xy just so things cancel out and all the variables match their differentials. So you want the x over here and we want the y's over here. Right? If you multiply everything by 2xy we get 2y dy um, oops I'm sorry Let's solve it out. I'm stepping ahead. We'll get uh, 2xy times dx over negative 2y is equal to 2xy dy over x. Right here, the, the 2 cancels out with this. The y's cancel out. And on this side, the x's cancel out. So we're left with negative x dx over actually nothing let's just say 1 is equal to uh, 2y dy and that's of course over 1 too uh, let's let's add let's add negative x dx onto one side so we'll get 2y dy plus x dx is uh, equal to 0. 2y dy plus x dx is equal to 0. And from here, we can integrate this entire function. We can integrate all of this. Right? And um, we can split this up into two integrals. 2y dy the integral of 2y dy plus the integral of x dx is equal to, well, the integral of 0 is, is just a constant, right? And so, integrate 2y dy, we get uh, y squared plus integral of x dx is x squared over 2. And of course, there's constants here, but I I'm just going to throw them all out on the right side of the equation, so we'll just get a constant. Okay. Now, here's here's the kind of the tricks. Let's let 
b. Let's let b, the variable b, be defined as the square root of a constant. Okay? And if that's the case, we can say if we were to square both sides of this equation, we'll get b squared is equal to a constant. Okay? Nothing fancy. We're just saying let b squared equal a constant. And so we can plug this constant back here. So we'll rewrite it as y squared plus x squared over 2 is equal to b squared. Right? Now, let's, let's divide everything by b squared. Okay? So we'll get, let's see, we'll get x squared, x squared over 2b squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. You can kind of see this is kind of looking like the equation of an ellipse. x squared over some term plus y squared over some term is equal to 1. And so let's, let's keep going. Now, let, let's define another variable. Let's let, let a equal the square root of 2 times b. Now, if we squared both of these, we'll get a squared is equal to uh, 2b squared. Okay? Now, we can substitute this back into here. Okay? So let me just rewrite it here. Let me rewrite that same thing here. We'll get x squared uh, over 2b squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. And here, we said a squared is equal to 2b squared. So this term right here is a squared. So let's rewrite that again. I'll let the camera focus. Are you focusing? Oh, yeah, it's focusing. Okay. We'll say x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. What do you know? This is the equation of an ellipse.